always shake it out to kind of clear any turbid energy from your tissues. One through ten. Three invocations. First invocation, I connect with the divine, cleansing my body. Second invocation, I pull the divine down through my body, through the floor, walls, ceiling, filling the room with the divine light. Third invocation, I connect with the divine. It's the fourth hand movement. Pull the divine down the Tai Chi pole to the lower Dan Tien, overflowing the lower Dan Tien with the divine light, holding it, letting it overflow, and then pull it out, enveloping the patient with the divine light, bubbling them, creating a sacred healing space, clockwise fashion, and then create a vortex at the foot of the table, deep into the earth, sword fingers to use to purge pathogens, and then begin dredging and combing the Wei Qi fields to clear any stagnation from the Wei Qi fields before you begin treating the patient. Of course, we root the patient. Okay, after you dredge, uh, we do diagnosis. So we go to the heels, bottom of the feet, K1. Always turn and purge if you connect with the body and you any turbid energy, you can just turn and blow out. You want to Connect with the earth, pull the energy up through the body from the lower Dantian into their body, running energy up from the bottom of the feet, up the legs, torso, up the spine, all the way to the top of the head, filling the body. As you run this energy up, you're going to look and feel for any blockages as they move, as the energy flows through the body. So this is a form of diagnosis. It also will tonify the body because you're emitting chi through the body. But you're letting the energy run up all the way to the top of the head and then draw it back down, pull it down. And see if you connect and feel any areas where the energy is not flowing or blocked. After that, fan palm scanning. And you can do that reverse order, fan palm and then heels or vice versa. So this is just a chance for you to scan the body, see what you're working with, feel the different organs, different dantians, the limbs, the Wei Qi fields. kind of gives you an idea of where, what you're working with and where you might be going during treatment to focus on. So after you've done scanning the body, we connect with the top of the head. We're going to energize the upper dantian middle dantian and lower dantian via the tai chi pole so we're also energizing the tai chi pole and usually when we connect with the head or work on the head at all we just want to clear out any stagnation on the head we have a mind we think a lot and thought forms kind of 
will linger in the Wei Qi fields around the head. So you want to just clear that out, which is often very relaxing for patients, just to clear that stagnant energy, especially with people with sinus issues, headaches, um, anything in the head, tension. Often patients will say they feel lighter and clearer, and they think clearer after you clear the head. So just clear if necessary. And then we're going to emit light and energy into the upper dantian, so we'll connect with the divine, pulling a cord into the upper dantian, and we'll begin flossing and energizing the upper dantian. So push and pull, as if there's a energetic cord of floss connected to both of my palms as I run it through the upper dantian. So I'm going through the by way point to the top of the head and through the third eye point here. Open fan palm. For patients who are energetically sensitive, you may want to back it off a little bit. This can be a little too close, especially with people with headaches and you know, stagnation, or if they're just energy sensitive, might be a little too much. And then we'll shoot it down to the middle dantian, holding proper posture. So, you don't want to be kinked, you want to have your legs bent, arms rounded. So I'm using sword fingers, emitting down through the byway point to the uh, middle dantian. Energizing the middle dantian, then I'm going to go down to the lower dantian. So I'm emitting the light and energy down the Tai Chi pole to the lower dantian, filling the lower dantian. After you're done energizing the Tai Chi pole and the three dantians, we're going to connect with the ears and energize the kidneys. So first we'll just place our hands several inches from the ears and start to slowly emit energy through your palms into the ears. And as you start to fill, feel the area fill, you'll start pumping the energy down the Tai Chi pole into the kidneys. So your hands are here but your intention goes down to the kidneys. After we energize the kidneys, we'll begin to do the general treatment protocol with the organs. And we start with the lung. So from the right side of the table, we'll connect with the left lung first. And first we just connect with the organ. Kind of, it's a way of approaching the body, saying hello. So I'm just kind of dipping in energetically. So I'm sort of emitting energy in feeling along, and once I connect with it, it will be like, you know, there's a shift, and you feel that connection with the energy, and once it starts to open up, I will gently start to purge, lightly, and a lot of the work we do on the lungs is from the lung one, lung two area, up here in the chest, it's a portal where we can connect to the lungs, and emit energy or purge if necessary. After we clear it a little bit, we're going to connect with the lung one area, sword fingers. We'll connect physically and then come around the table as it creates a corkscrew of energy. And holding the bottom of the lung, we'll feel the pressure that's built up in the lung, and we'll pop the cork, so to speak, and begin to drain and purge the lungs. Two hands, quick motions.
after we clear it, we're then going to uh, slide our hands underneath the shoulder blade. So the, the bottom hand will be underneath the shoulder blade and the top hand is going to be on the shoulder joint. And you're going to gently roll it so the clavicle will go back, scapula will go back, and the arm will rotate out a little bit. So this arm is going this way, as this one's going this way. It's not so much of a pushing down as it is a sliding. And after it opens, we then purge. I'm going to grab the wrist right across here. You don't want to grab the hand that's uncomfortable for the patient. You don't want to pull on their hair, on their arm. That, that can be uncomfortable. Had people do that to me. Just gently on the wrist, right around here. I want to hold it and put slight traction. So you're not yanking them too hard, but you're pulling, so it's opening the chest a little more. And you just continue to purge. There can be a light pressure on the arm, or you can do it an inch or so off the arm. We purge down to the wrist and out. You can connect with the whole lung. You know, you can feel the lung and purge right down the arm. Sometimes I'll ask the patient, you know, is this comfortable? Am I pulling too hard? Is that comfortable? And always have the patient relax. Sometimes they'll stiff, their arm is stiff, and you know you let it go, and it's still kind of stiff. You want to make sure they are just relaxed and let that allow the energy to flow. So make sure their arm is kind of, you know, dangling without any pressure or tension. So we then connect with the opposite lung. So we're going to do the right lung. I'll be on the left side of the table. I'm going to say hello to the right lung. I'll go through this one a little quicker since you saw the one. Say hello, purge, connect, come around, feel the pressure, pop it, pull, and purge. Now we're going to come underneath the scapula, roll it out and do the same thing on the other side. So she's got a couple of wrist bands here, so I'm going to slide them out of the way so I'm not yanking on them and make it uncomfortable. Slight traction. And purge. Go back and tonify, seal, and disconnect from the lung. <coughs> so I'm just going to emit white light into the lungs. Use a clockwise hand motion. Clockwise motion has a more tonifying. Counterclockwise is for purging. left lung with white light. And seal it. I'll feel, uh, fill the right lung with white light. Seal it up. Just a gentle seal, you're not wrapping it tight with any kind of energetic cast or anything. We'll learn that later this weekend, but it's just a gentle kind of seal, allowing it to breathe. 
purge when necessary. You feel any energy coming in, release it, blow out. Disconnect if you have to. You can connect to the heaven and the earth like this. Now reach out and connect to the heaven. Pull in the earth chi, or you can go through the one through 10 again. But always kind of have that connection. So you're working with the heaven and earth coming through you as you treat the patient. So after the lungs, we go to the liver. The liver, usually we go a little bit stronger. Um, it's a tough organ physically. Energetically, it carries a lot of stuff. Physically, it carries a lot of stuff. and can usually take a little bit more of a heavier purge. So you'll learn different techniques this weekend on how to do that. But just first connect with the liver. Feel it's opening right up, so I'm going to start purging. You can do some light tiger kneading. And we also do the raking, which is just you know dipping the fingers down to the table and dredging through the liver. So my intention is going all the way down to the table and dredging through the tissues and the torso, through the liver organ. back to tiger kneading. Again, the liver you may spend some time on purging. We'll learn some uh, healing sounds this weekend for going into the organs and purging with sound. After you're done purging the liver, we're going to then tonify. Oftentimes with the liver, I'll actually physically touch the liver. and rub it, but you can do it energetically. You can, you can go above the body like I did with the lungs. So I do clockwise rubbing, visualizing green light filling the, the liver. And there's several ways to tonify. I mean, you can just place your hand on the liver just like with the tonification treatment when we're holding and just filling, you can just place the hand on the liver and allow it to fill up. You can place your hand under the liver and one hand above, one below. That's a great way to fill the liver. Just like when we do for the lower dantian, the kidneys, you know. So after you're done filling the liver, tonifying, we'll seal it. And then I'm going to move to the heart. Heart is a, we store a lot of emotional charge in the heart. Uh, energetically, you know, there's a lot of spiritual aspect to the heart. So you want to go kind of sensi uh, gentle because uh, of the sensitivity in the heart. So. We can connect to uh, Shen Dao underneath the heart. It's called Shen Dao. And so I'm sliding my hand right underneath the heart. And then, oh, I'm going to slide out a sec. For this one, you may want to sit just to be comfortable. Normally, I'd have a table about four feet higher. So for me, I'm going to sit so I'm not stooped over the table or bent because you want proper posture. So I'm just kind of saying hello to the heart, being very gentle. My bottom hand is emitting up through the torso and the chest, kind of percolating up through so the heart will open like a flower. And once it opens, I'm going to wait and feel the energy, and then I'll start to purge it lightly. I'm using duckbill palm, so I don't want energy to shoot up into her upper dantian. So I protect that by using duckbill palm. 
Okay, so once it starts to open, I'll start to pull. You can pull right out through the heart, or you can pull it down through the yellow cord. So you can pull out through the heart directly, or, or through the yellow cord. You can do tiger kneading as well. Now you can also purge the heart without sliding the hand underneath, but it does seem to be a little more effective when you have the bottom hand underneath percolating up through. Sometimes the heart will armor, since we store a lot of emotional charge in the heart, you can sometimes want to armor. So after we're done purging, we can either stand up or um, pull the hand out underneath and tonify from above, or we can continue here and just allow the energy to flow up and tonify from the bottom. Several ways to tonify. So I'm just filling with red. After you're done tonifying, we're going to then seal. So I've done lung, liver, heart. I'm going to go to the yellow cord. <coughs> so the yellow cord, we store a lot of <coughs> unprocessed emotions from the five yin organs. So just from one area, we, we have a lot of emotional charge. So the yellow cord is also a place where people can armor and you want to kind of go in gently to the yellow cord and can dig up a lot of junk from the yellow cord so, you know. Now this one too, you can slide the hand underneath and percolate up. I'm just doing it from above here. Usually if it's armoring a little bit, I'll slide my hand underneath and percolate up, see if it'll open. But you can often do it just from this position. And once it opens, you'll begin to purge. And again, the lungs is white, liver is green, the heart is the red color for tonification. Now again, I'm just going to spend a minute here but the yellow cord, oftentimes you can work for a while and do a lot of purging, digging in, dredging out the pit. Feel that? You okay? Yeah. Talk to the patient. If you're purging stuff, you want to communicate, see if they're okay. Look for facial twitches or movements or bodily twitches, make sure they're comfortable, sometimes just periodically asking them if they're okay, because you can be sitting there purging all this trauma from their life and they're going through all these transitions on the table and you don't know it, so just kind of be sensitive. And then I want to fill the yellow cord with uh, yellow light. We usually don't seal the yellow cord because it's not an organ. And we go to the spleen. So I'll connect with the spleen. Purge as necessary. Always go into the organs gently. And if they start to purge and release, then you can quicken the hand movement. But you don't want to just dip into an organ and start yanking. You want to be very gentle. 
you would go into someone's house for the first time and just start running around their house? Well, I would, but... <laughs> but I would do it in a very gentle, polite fashion. <laughs> so now I'm totifying the spleen. Yellow light. Seal it up. Then we come to the kidneys, bladder, lower abdomen area. So it's not just the kidneys, you're kind of sweeping through the whole abdominal area. And we'll go through this more in other classes, but there's a lot of stuff. You got your intestines, reproductive organs, kidneys, bladder. Just kind of sweep through, dredge the area, purge the kidneys as well. There's often a lot of trauma, you know, miscarriages, C-sections, abdominal pain, digestive issues, um, a lot of cancers, prostate cancer, cervical, a lot of stuff down in this area. So it can be a lot of cords, emotional stuff. So we'll just start with a light purge of the area. And by now you've kind of already said hello to the body. You kind of noticed I, I, I dipped in a little quicker. You know, as I go to each organ I'm dipping in a little faster. Because by the time you've connected with the body, the body's comfortable. It's not going to armor. But still you do want to say hello to each organ. Make sure you're welcome. After a light purge, we're going to then tonify. So remember the lower down and the kidneys are very connected, so we're going to put our hands, left hand on our Ming Men, right hand above uh, lower down Tien. So the lower down Tien is from the belly button to the Ming Men to the perineum. It's like a diamond, Bermuda Triangle, so to speak. So the energy within these three points is the lower down, lower down Tian. So I'm just going to allow the energy to fill the lower down Tian and kidney area. So I'm filling the lower down Tian to you know, overflow into the kidneys. Turn and purge and blow if you need to release. Usually with the kidneys and lower dantian, you want to spend several minutes tonifying this area. Now patients that are energy sensitive, they'll, they'll tell you before, before you pick up on it that they're filled up. They may say, okay, it's enough, you know. They feel like there's a balloon in their belly that's getting filled, you know, more and more full and pressure's expanding. So her um, kidney cheese is a little low, so we're, we're just spending a little time filling it up. Now even though tonifying the kidneys is a good thing, there's a limit to everything. Too much of a good thing is, is always sometimes not good. So remember the kidneys, you know, it's like a battery. You don't want to charge, overcharge a battery with the voltage too high, you know. So you don't want to fill too much. So you want to let the body absorb what it can, and next time you can tonify more. The body is a very uh, delicate energetic system, the nervous system. You don't want to over, overpower it with energy. You feel that? You okay? 
So from here, I'm going to run my intention up the spine and down the front. I'm going to start running the microcosmic orbit. So from the lower dantian, I'm going to drop the energy down to the perineum, run it up her spine, over her head, down the front, midline. Inhaling up the spine, exhaling down the front. We'll do this about 36 times. disconnect and do some from this position. Remembering to maintain proper posture. down, root it to the lower dantian. After you're done rooting the energy back to the lower dantian for a moment, we'll then rescan the body. Sometimes I like to clear and release any energy. And then we rescan. So this is your chance to go back and see what you've done, see how the body feels after the session. It should feel different. And if there's any touch-up work that you need to do or go back into an organ and do some more work, this is your chance to do it. So even though you've done an entire protocol, you can still go back and do things, especially if they have a certain health problem or issue that you need to work on, you, you probably do a protocol. We'll learn different protocols uh, later on. So I rescan the body. And then, assuming everything's okay, we disconnect. So we seal them, bubble their three Weichi fields, connect to the divine. Bubble her first Wei Chi field. Disconnect. Bubble the second Wei Chi field. Disconnect. And bubble the third Wei Chi field. Disconnect. So you bubble them, you step back, reconnect to the divine, pull the energy down to the lower dantian. This is your way of recharging, replenishing any chi that's been lost during the session for yourself. you're disconnected, you can then wake the patient up, say hello, and then you'll sit them up, uh, root their energy down to the kidneys, uh, wash your hands, and then get feedback. So we'll sit you up. Actually, could you sit uh, this way so the camera can see you? So actually, you want to see? So you're going to pull the energy down to the lower back. So it's not like this. I'm not going up and down. I'm just pulling down, just rooting the energy from the heart down to the kidneys. Pulling the energy down like I'm sweeping. 
giving them a little rub. It just helps to kind of root the energy because when they sit up after a lot of energy work, it can be kind of spacey and lightheaded. So this is just a way of kind of grounding them a little bit.